We're talking about an innovation in charge detection that's reinventing ion chromatography. We're in the thermoscientific technology exhibit here at PICCON 2012 I'm with Kanan Srinivasan and Chris Pohl. They're both in our R&D organization focused on analytical chemistry. We were talking before about the uh, charge detector innovation and the work that you've been doing uh, with collaboration with others. Talk about that and how it's really brought some innovation and a result for our customers. We work very closely with uh, Professor Sandy Dasgupta or Purnandu Dasgupta. He's from University of Texas at Arlington. And uh, we had uh, some collaboration activities going on for many years. And we expanded on that uh, and uh, came up with this new innovation. So Chris, what would you say about the, the challenges that we were trying to overcome in terms of moving from a traditional technology to, to this innovation? Well, the big challenge is a matter of miniaturization. When in an academic environment, they don't really care what something looks like or how reliable it is, but when it came to making a simple, compact, and easy to use component. And as far as the uh, work that went on for, uh, you were mentioning about a year and a half, how did the end result turn out? Beyond your expectations, and, and how is this now uh, being incorporated into the products? We started looking at it as a new detector, mm -hmm. and uh, what we learned is uh, that uh, it does more than an average detector does. Uh, we are getting more information out of this detector. In, con in combination with conductivity detection, we have um, now been able to uh, get some confirmation on various ionic species using the new concept. Can you talk about where we've just launched some products and where the charge detector is uh, being incorporated? The charge detector is now introduced in the ICS 4000 instrument, which is being launched here at PITCOM. Talk about it, Chris, if you could, uh, what people can expect now. If they're not familiar with the charge detector and, and they're you know thinking about this, hearing about it for the first time. The charge detector has a couple of really interesting properties. The one most interesting is that conductivity detection is a physical property detector, and it measures uh, the signals based on how fast ions move through solution. So different ions all have different signal properties. The charge detector gives you the same signal regardless of what the ion is within certain constraints. So something like hydrochloric acid and sodium nitrate would normally have very different signals with a charge detector. The same concentration gives exactly the same signal. So it's possible to do a calibration for one ion and be calibrated for all ions with the charge detector. It's been over 35 years since we've been using conductivity detection. And now we have a new mode of detection available for ions and uh, a superior mode of detection. Learn more at thermoscientific.com slash dionics.